Hi everyone, so this and the next video will be on um, the identities involved in differentiating scalars with respect to vectors. And um, for this video, it's going to be particularly easy because we're just going to be looking at the product rule and the chain rule and both of these are so analogous to the scalar by scalar case. Okay, so we're going to do two examples and this is going to be the first one. Okay, so first look at this. This is a different way of writing partial over partial x, where x is a vector. Whenever you write x um, in caps, that means that you're referring to a vector. It can be something like um, x1, x2, x3, or even in this case, it's just x, y, z, and so on. Okay, so... Um, this is our scalar function and we're trying to differentiate this with respect to a vector and um, all we're going to do here is use the product rule instead of introducing this everywhere inside and then differentiating as usual. We're going to do the product rule so um, we're going to leave this as a constant so x squared y plus z is left as a constant then we'll differentiate this with respect to x so this is going to give me a row vector and um, the first element is going to be the derivative with respect to x so 2x plus uh, or actually minus 2z sine x and then with respect to y that's going to be just 2y then with respect to z it's going to be 2 cosine x so i basically differentiated this once with respect to x and then y and then z okay so this was left as a constant and we derived this okay then we'll do the opposite so um, we're gonna leave this one as a constant plus 2z cosine x and differentiate this one so with respect to x that's gonna be 2xy with respect to y that's gonna be x squared and with respect to z that is going to be one okay so now we're gonna um, introduce this everywhere inside and then this everywhere inside and just add these two row vectors i'm not even gonna do it i was just demonstrating how to do the product rule and how it's just the same when you compare it to the scalar by scalar version okay and the chain rule is also somewhat the same so we've got f equals 3u squared minus 2u plus 1 so f is a scalar function and u is e to the xyz plus xyz and we're trying to find the derivative of f with respect to the vector x so um, what we're going to do here is use the chain rule so and we're going to have partial f over partial the vector x is going to be 6u, uh, just 6u, okay, minus 2. And then we multiply that by the derivative of u, so this one. So partial u over partial the vector x, so that is going to be 6u minus 2. And here then we differentiate first with respect to x so we get yz e to the x yz plus yz and then with respect to y so let me get some space here okay i missed the uh, okay okay and we can then get rid of this get back to normal so um, with respect to y is going to be x z e to the x y z plus x z and with respect to z it's going to be x y e to the x y z plus one so then um, you can sub this in here and um, multiply this everywhere to get the final row vector and this is going to be all I wanted to show for this video.